Hey guys, it's Dave here, and I get a lot of questions about the types of foods that I eat and uh, a little bit of information about why I eat certain things and don't eat other things. So I just got back from the store and I've got some stuff here. I want to kind of show you some of the things I grabbed. I'll talk about a little bit about why I chose some of the things that I chose. So let's start with bread. Uh, I have a nature's own whole wheat here. Uh, I don't eat a lot of bread, but my kids do. And I, this is 100% whole grain. And what I really like about the nature's own bread is that there is no high fructose corn syrup added to this bread. And it may surprise you to know that um, you're putting high fructose corn syrup in something like bread, uh, but it is in almost all the breads you will find in the bread aisle, except for this one and, and a couple of others. Um, so that's why I chose the uh, nature's own there. Eggs, got some eggs here. I like eggs. Um, because they are, <clears throat> and I like whole eggs, as opposed to just egg whites. Uh, there's a lot of healthy fats that are in eggs. Uh, some of those are saturated fats. If you follow me, you know that um, I'm a big proponent of the Primal Blueprint and uh, the idea that there are healthy fats that you need in your diet, and fat makes up probably about 30% of my diet right now. Um, organic eggs is what I mentioned. And when you look at the egg aisle, you will see cage-free, brown eggs, large eggs, small eggs, omega-3 enhanced eggs. Organic is really the only term that means a whole heck of a lot. Basically what organic means is that the chickens were not fed antibiotics unless there's some sort of an outbreak that they needed to be conditioned from. They typically are not raised in this sort of indoor small cage environment and they're usually fed uh, healthier foods. So instead of just sitting in a little box and having corn drop down on them uh, every day and laying eggs, the chickens are living in a more natural environment and that tends to make their eggs much healthier, much higher in those omega-3 fatty acids, which is a big reason that I am eating eggs. Uh, spaghetti, I know I mentioned the Primal Blueprint just a moment ago, but spaghetti is one of the things that I'm eating a lot of, well, a little bit more of, Lately, as I'm approaching uh, now three weeks out from the half Ironman, so getting my carb intake up is something that I really have to do. And my kids love spaghetti, so that is one of the things that I make and Monica makes pretty regularly. So let's talk about what's going to go in that. First one is uh, whole wheat pasta. Uh, in addition to being whole wheat uh, or multi-grain is what this one is called, uh, this is, is a gluten-free pasta. So gluten is another thing that I'm really trying to avoid, and we've got a gluten-free product here that I really like. Um, I highly recommend that over um, just a regular uh, flour-based pasta. Um, ground turkey, uh, again, you wanna look at the ingredients. You wanna make sure you're not getting um, a heavily processed turkey meat. This is just 100% turkey breast. Um, it's Jenny O and it's extra lean turkey breast. I like that. Sometimes we'll get ground beef too, um, but I tend to like the turkey. I think it tastes a little bit better. For sauce, uh, we use just uh, diced tomatoes. Uh, these are the ones I got today. They're a Hunt's. Uh, Monica often gets these, but they didn't have them. And these are S&W. These are organic, uh, just diced tomatoes basically. And these make great tomato sauce. It's also really cheap. And I, I just, you know, I took some time in the aisle today to look at some of the other spaghetti sauces that, you know, you would find normally in a jar. You know, not only are they much more expensive, there's a lot of sugar that gets added into those things and a lot of other foods that I really wouldn't add. My kids like or don't like little spices in their, in their food. They're just a little funny and picky when it comes to that. So we just take some diced tomatoes. Uh, blend those up into a puree, add them to uh, the ground turkey breast and some whole grain or multi-grain pasta and that makes for a nice healthy meal for the kids. For me, I make my own little batch on the side and I have an onion that I will use for that. I have uh, some garlic that I will use for that and I have some peppers. I have a green pepper and a red pepper here. The peppers are organic um, and I'll just take a second to talk about that. Organic fruits and vegetables are more expensive. You're gonna find that to be almost universally true unless you can find a good farmer's market uh, or a, uh, a locally grown agricultural program. And there's, a, there's another video post on that, which you can read about. Um, but it's important to get organic anytime you're dealing with a fruit or vegetable that has kind of a soft skin on it. 
And the reason is really pesticides. Get things like peppers, uh, grapes, um, you know, things like that that have that, that grow above ground are exposed to pesticides and have kind of a soft uh, skin, and they tend to absorb a lot of those pesticides. Um, if you get stuff like an orange, for example, or lemons, you know, that have a hard rind on them, those tend not to be as subject to pesticides, and I think you can be a little bit more flexible with those. Uh, I got some strawberries, love strawberries, uh, low glycemic index fruit, great to add to either a greenberry or a chocolate shakeology. Also love to put them in uh, with some vanilla whey protein, another one of my favorite things. 